Listen to a lecture in a music appreciation class. The professor is talking about a specific genre of music. The importance of background music in a film cannot be overstated. Background music is instrumental in creating the mood the movie maker wants to evoke. During the infancy of cinema, the importance of music was understood, but the relationship between music and the action on the screen was not fully appreciated. Thus, early musical material consisted of whatever was available and often bore little relationship to the movie. Since the technology for movies to include sound had not yet been developed, music was provided by live musicians who played whatever they wanted. A pianist good at improvisation was highly regarded. As the commercial potential of the cinema became apparent, producers realized the advantage of each film having its own music. In 1908, Camille Sanson was commissioned to compose music specifically for a French film. However, this idea was ahead of its time and was not embraced by the movie industry. Perhaps cinema musicians weren't ready to learn new pieces for each movie that came along, or perhaps the costs were too high. By 1913, special catalogs of music for specific dramatic purposes were available. Thus, musicians had at their disposal music that could be used for any scene from any movie. Much of this music consisted of works by famous composers and predated the advent of motion pictures. For example, Mendelssohn's Wedding March was a typical catalog piece for wedding scenes and had been written before the appearance of motion pictures. In 1922, a system that made possible the synchronization of recorded sound and image was developed. The era of talking pictures began, thus making music an integral part of filmmaking. At first, background music was used only if there was an orchestra or performer on screen, because it was believed that people would be bewildered about the origin of the sound. A 1930s western called Cimarron was the first film to experiment with background music without a visible means of production. The composer for this soundtrack was Max Steiner, a pioneer of film scoring. Steiner also composed the film score for Symphony of Six Million in 1932, the first film to have music underscoring dialogue. The simple, somewhat naive music of early film scores quickly developed into the sophisticated musical experience that moviegoers encounter today. What is the lecture mainly about? The professor mentions three different composers. How does the music discussed in the lecture relate to the composers mentioned? The professor briefly explains a process. Summarize the process by putting the events in order. Why does the professor mention Mendelssohn's Wedding March? According to the professor, in what ways was Max Steiner a pioneer of film scoring? What event probably had the most influence on film music?